Okay, I'm going to go right fast through this because I know people have very little attention span. This is a light wave shot from a laser disc by Rodney Warren into a Venturi slit. This is the key, the Venturi slit. There's two circular pins here and the laser is hitting into that Venturi slit which causes an acceleration of the light because light is just as it is always portrayed, it's liquid. It is some form of liquid and you can see the elongate is being sucked into here. That would be a perfect wave and I'll show you that in a second. But you see what comes out of the other side? Atomization. That is high energy light. Those are particles that are not slow particles. Those are fast particles. Now what does a solar panel do? A solar panel takes in light. But how does that light come in? It comes in as drops just like rain. Almost like a very slight drop falling into that thing. It shoots out an electron here and there. No big deal. But this, I think, could be a big deal. Because this is like putting a squirt into, into that puddle and you're going to force the liquid out of that puddle if you hit it with this high energy. So I'm going to show you what I'm pouring. I have nothing to do with it. I don't want to get involved in this at all. I, and I don't want anything about it. I don't want any money. I don't want anything to do with it. I just want somebody to look into this because I think it's valid. I'm doing other things. I, look, I do other things. Okay, I forgot. Now what you got to look at, one last thing. You see how this is, is not coming just splashing through. Gravity happens almost every single time. All right, when this comes through here, it hits that slot. Now, instead of completely coming through here, you see what it's doing? It's radiating back. So we're losing some energy. We don't want that. We want all of this stuff to come through. So I'm going to show you a design, see if somebody can come up with something. I would hope that if anything was ever developed from this, it would just be free for everybody to do whatever they did with it. Just the way all this stuff should be. Every, except for now, anything you even want to know you got to pay them to read their papers. It's unbelievable. I'm going to show you a few shots Rodney Warren did from Australia. These are He's been doing all the uh, experiments. It's a fabulous job. Now, what he's picking up is just crazy stuff. Uh, this, we think, might be an electron, or, or, which I think is a vortex particle, and which is dark energy while it's traveling through space in the vacuum because it has nothing to collide with. And what it does is it collides with the cloud that is around fully nucleated matter and bounces off like it would bounce off a screen door. Some of it is stored in there as radiation depend, I mean as, as, um, as really heat actually uh, due to the exact frequency vibration of that particular molecule. And that is why we always see in a spectrograph there's just certain places are missing because there's only certain frequencies of vibration that can happen because of the crystalline structure of every single particle on the face of the planet. That's the case. That's all there is to it. That's light without being accelerated through the Venturi accelerator that Rodney's doing. This is through the accelerator showing the screw pattern and it's screwing this way. As it comes in, it drops through, and then it, it hits on the outside, and it drops through again. It's, 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 it's screwing right down through there. It's, it's no question. What, well, I mean, I say there's no question. It sure looks like there's no question to me. It's a green laser light accelerated through the uh, Venturi. And this is coming straight at us like we're looking right down that screw. And that, we feel, is the particle. And as it approaches uh, away, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. And that's the way we see it. You saw the other picture in red analyzing it with the, the bright spots, identical to the structure of the green which is a higher frequency. That's all there is to it. They're the same structure. Higher frequency means a faster spin. Faster spin means more angular momentum. It goes again. Means more angular momentum. Means more more power. That's what the uh, energy equals mass. And the mass is determined by the frequency. They're all weigh the same thing, but the faster they spin, the more they, they uh, are, are, are strong, the more power they have. All right, here you go. Look at this now. Here's two of those in an electron trail. This is the accelerator. It comes out of the accelerator, and they end up slowing down and, and displaying in two what we think are uh, vortex particles. And they and then they they slow down into uh, back into their normal pattern. All right, as far as graphics, it's the best I can do. All right, now the reason this the thing was falling before was this. 
as, as uh, wind was coming through, and it might fall down now, who knows. Light is coming through here, just light, outside light. Now what we're going to hope for, and it may happen, it may not, I don't know, but somebody's got to look at it, is instead of having two round spots like this for the Venturi, where we saw that disc being sucked through it and blowing back out of here and atomizing down here, which is fine, it atomized like crazy, but it left a lot of it away. Now, if we can trap that with extremely sharp razor edges, like in the angstrom unit, you know, molecular uh, edge here, and then come down as a waveguide until we hit the, the exiting orifice of the Venturi to let it flip this way, we may be able to uh, get some accelerated particles, uh, and most of them, I'm hoping, that's, my that's why I'm showing you this. If we can get most of these accelerated particles, and then we hit a solar panel, see what happened, and we hit a solar panel that would be at whatever distance it had to be from this collection plate, from this uh, accelerator plate, and onto this collection panel, and I, I think we might be able to push some high-speed electrons out of there instead of taking drop by drop like we're doing now. That's all. That's, that's my point.